Hello, this is Carl, and I'm, this is the first video I'm making of a series of instructional videos to cover basic electrical, electronics, and other technological concepts that I feel may be useful and helpful to my viewership. Today we're going to talk about uh, volts, amps, and ohms. These are, these are three bedrock electrical units concepts, however you want to think, that are absolutely critical for any electrical or electronics work, but are also at the same time a major source of confusion for a lot of people. So I'm making this short video to attempt to help with that. Voltage is the amount of, of pressure behind the electrons that our, uh, our power supply produces. Current is the vol actual volume or number of electrons that uh, are flowing through our circuit. And resistance is the opposition that whatever load we connect provides to the, the current that this uh, source wants to deliver. And these three concepts, voltage, current, and resistance, are all tied together with this uh, simple math equation called Ohm's Law. So E, or voltage, is equal to I, or current, times R, or resistance in ohms. Another way you can look at this, a lot of students find this little graphic uh, very helpful. This is called Ohm's Pi. And this graphic is, is really neat because, say, you want to solve for resistance, you simply cover the R, and then that tells you, okay, we need to divide uh, voltage by the current, E equals I times R. We need to divide voltage times, or by the current, in order to get our resistance. If we know the current and the resistance and we need voltage, then we solve, we, we cover the voltage, and that tells us that we need to multiply current and resistance in order to do that. So. With that, we're going we're gonna to work a couple of quick problems here. First problem, a DC power supply is rated for 12 volts output and uh, 20 amps. So at, at 12 volts output and our rated 20 amps load, what is, what is the resistance of that load when it's pulling 20 amps? So our resistance, we don't know. Our uh, E, or our voltage, equals 12. And our current is equal to 20. So let's find out what this resistance is. So we've got E equals I times R. You can, of course, solve that easily enough algebraically, but if, but if you need to use this kind of as your mnemonic device to remember, we, we need to know the, the load resistance, so you cover the R, and that tells us we need to divide the E, or volts, by amps. And you know, we have those two parameters, so let's do it. So, so uh, 12 volts over 20 amps equals R, or 0. 0.6 ohms equals your resistance. Okay, that's real fine and dandy. Why is this important? Well, it's important because we need to know what the what the minimum load resistance is that we can connect to this power supply so that we don't draw more than 20 amps. If we exceed 20 amps, we could overheat the power supply, damage it, burn it up, blow a fuse, you know, whatever the case may be. So we, we need to, to know uh, what, what is a, a uh, safe uh, load resistance to hook to that. So essentially we, we need to connect 0 0.6 ohms or more to that uh, power supply. Next problem, an automotive headlamp bulb has a hot filament resistance of 3.45 ohms. And I want to just mention something when, when, you're, when you're checking 
the resistance of a uh, incandescent bulb other than just to make sure that the filament is intact. Uh, ohming it out doesn't really do much good because when, when the light bulb's powered up, the, the, the filament's hot and the hot resistance is a lot higher than the cold resistance. So that's why we're going to calculate this. We want we basically we've got 3.45 ohms is your hot resistance. The nominal operating voltage of a car electrical system when the engine is running is about 13.8 volts. And yes, we know we know that uh, a car battery puts out uh, 12 volts normally, but the alternator pushes that up to 13.8 volts. And that's what we're going to use because normally you're running your car if you're running the headlights. So how much current, what, what is the uh, I or how much current is this uh, thing drawing at 13.8 volts and a resistance of 3.45 ohms? Well, let's, uh, let's figure it out. E equals uh, I times R. And uh, again, if we use our handy dandy ohms pi, we want we want to solve for the current that's drawing. So that uh, leaves us with, with E divided by R. So let's figure that out. Okay, so I equals 13.8 volts divided by 3.45 ohms. And that gives you an I of roughly 4 amps. And this is important because obviously if, if you're installing an, an accessory in your car or in any other electrical system, it's well that you know how much current that accessory is pulling so that uh, you, you know how heavy the wiring needs to be made and uh, what, what kind of fuse or circuit breaker you're going to need to uh, protect that circuit. And that, that's the subject of another video. Fin final example here. A circuit has a resistance of 1800 ohms. And that, that uh, 1800 ohms is pulling a current of 0 0.005 amps or, which is the same thing as 5 milliamps, is 5 thousandths of an amp is 5 milliamps. So 1 milliamp is 1 1 thousandth of an amp, just FYI. Anyway, what we want to know is how much voltage are we applying to get this 0 0.005 amp through 1800 ohms. So let's look at that. Looking at our ohms pi again, we, we know our resistance, we know our amps, so we want to solve for voltage, and we're going to do that by multiplying them. So our voltage, or our, our E for electromotive force, is equal to I, which is 0 0.005 amp, times 1800 ohms. And solving that, we get E, or the voltage, equals 9 volts. So these are just a, just a three very simple, very basic ohm, practical Ohm's Law problems here that uh, I worked here as examples. And hopefully this clarified a little bit uh, how Ohm's Law works. So... If, if you like the video and got some value from this, uh, please uh, recommend me on your Twitter or YouTube uh, accounts, and uh, can please consider subscribing to my channel. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.